Welcome to a code report solution video. In this video, we're going to be covering the solution to problem two from the Hacker Earth May Easy 2018 contest entitled Sweets All Around. The problem states students of Delhi Public School love sweets. They prefer eating sweets all the time. To make sure they remain happy, their math teacher Pramesh decided to get sweets for them. But since they are students of the Delhi Public School, they are not so easily pleased. A student will be happy if there are at least X sweets in the class and not more than Y sweets because they know too many sweets could lead to diabetes. The teacher wants to buy the minimum number of candies so that the maximum number of students are happy in this class help him in finding out these values and note that the number of students n is going to be between 1 and 10 to the 5 and x and y the ranges of the number of candies for each student that will make them happy is going to be between 1 and 10 to the power of 9. So let's take a look at the example that Hacker Earth provided us with. So here we have our input. The first number five is the number of students, and the next 10 numbers, two to a line, represent the interval x and y, x being the minimum and y being the maximum of the number of candies in the classroom that will make uh, each student happy. So if we color code these, we can uh, get a visualization of these ranges. So each one of these colors corresponds to one of the students so that we can see that for the first student, if there are between three and six candies in the classroom, that student will be happy anything outside that range and that student won't be happy so the question is asking what is the minimum number of uh, candies the teacher can buy in order to satisfy or make happy the maximum number of students so we can see just by looking at it that this is going to be uh, five so with five candies uh, the teacher will be able to make four of the five students in the classroom happy so the algorithm we're going to use to solve this problem is something I'm going to call a boundary sweep and there's uh, three steps that we need to do for each student in order to perform this algorithm so for each each student we are going to add uh, the end of the range to a priority queue uh, which we'll call ends and this is going to be a min heap so we're going to have to negate each number when we insert it into this priority queue uh, then for each of the top values in our priority queue that's less than the start of the range we're currently looking at for the student we're going to pop the top we'll see why we do this uh, when we step through this algorithm and then at the end of uh, each of these two steps we're going to check if the size of our priority queue ends is greater than the current number of uh, maximum students that we we're able to satisfy from the previous number of candies we looked at it, and if so we're going to reset our values uh, so let's walk through this for the input that we're given here so we have our minimum number of candies the teacher needs to buy and the maximum number of students that this will satisfy at a given point in time and then we have our start end and our priority queue ends so we're going to put our uh, start and end values for each students in a multi map and then we're going to process them in the order that they show up from left to right so sorted order that's what the multi map will do for us so once we've done that the first student we'll look at is the orange student so they have a start uh, of the range is one and the end of their range is six so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, push the end into our end so we're going to negate this so that this is a min heap not a max heap which is what the priority queue is by default uh, then the second step is going to pop off the top value, uh, continuously pop up the top value while the top value is less than our current start. But 6 is greater than 1, so we don't do anything here. And at this point, we check is the size of our ends, so the number of students that we are currently satisfying with uh, the one candy, uh, greater than our current max, which it is. So the size here is 1, which is greater than 0. If that's the case, we set max students equal to the size of our priority queue and min candies equal to start which is currently the number of candies that the teacher would be buying so these will both change to one one uh, then we move on to the next student which will be the blue student uh, the range for the blue student is 2 to 15 so we push 15 into our priority queue and then we check uh, is the top value less than start it's not 6 is greater than 2 so we still don't do anything here and then once again we check is the size of our priority queue greater than our max students it is and if that's the case, we set max students equal to the size of our priority queue and min candies equal to start, which is two. So this currently means that if the teacher were to buy two candies, uh, he would be able to satisfy two students, the orange student and the blue student. 
so moving on to the next student, which will be the red student, uh, this range will be three to six. So once again, push the six into our priority queue ends. Uh, then we're gonna check is the top value in our priority queue less than our start? It's not, so we're still not doing anything at this point for step two. And uh, our final step for this student is to check is the size of our priority queue greater than max students? It is, so we are going to reset max students to the size three and min candies equal to start, which is also three. Moving on to the purple student, uh, the range for the purple student is five and eight, so we push the eight into our priority queue, uh, and then we check is our top value in our priority queue uh, less than start, which is five. It's not, so uh, once again, we're gonna move to the third step without doing anything for the second step, and we're gonna check is the size greater. It is, so we're gonna set max students equal to four, which is the size of our priority queue, and min candies equal to start, which is five. So once again, what this means at this point in time is that if the teacher were to buy uh, five candies, he would be able to satisfy four students, the purple, blue, orange, and red student. And last but not least, we move to uh, the green student. The range for this student is seven to 11. So we're going to push our 11 into our priority queue. And at this point, finally, we're doing something for step two. So we check is the top value in our priority queue less than start. It is six is less than seven. So we're gonna pop off the six, uh, pop off the next six as well. And this will leave us with three students. So with seven candies purchased, uh, the teacher is able to satisfy or make happy three students, the purple, blue, and green. And so we'll check, uh, is the size of our ends greater than our current max students? It's not, three is less than four, so we won't reset anything here. And this brings us to the end of our algorithm. So our final answer will be uh, five candies to satisfy the maximum four students. So we would just output these two numbers. So that is the algorithm. Let's take a look at the code for it. So here is our code. It's uh, quite simple. So at the top, we're just reading in the number of students n. Uh, we're then declaring a multi-map, which is gonna store the start and end, the ranges for each of our students. So then we just do a while loop for n different students. We read in the a and b, which is the start and end of our range, and insert these into our multi-map. Uh, then we declare our priority queue ends, and we initialize X and Y, which are going to represent the minimum candies and the maximum students. And then we just loop through each of the pairs in our multi-map. And so the first thing we do is we push the end of our range for that student into our priority queue ends. The second step we do is we loop through uh, while the top of our uh, priority queue ends is less than the start of our range. And uh, we pop off that value while this is satisfied. And then we do our third step. So just check that the size, if the size of our priority queue ends is greater than uh, the current maximum number of students we're able to satisfy, then we reset uh, the maximum students to be the size of our priority queue and then uh, set the minimum number of candies equal to the start of our range. And if we do this, uh, we can output X and Y at the end and we will have our uh, correct solution. So the last thing to talk about is the time complexity for this problem. Uh, due to the fact that we are uh, using a multi-map, it's uh, log n for an insertion, and we're doing n of those. So the complexity will be n log n. As always, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, hit that like button. If you want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter for reminders 30 minutes before contests start, and you can find all of the code shown in my videos on my GitHub page. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.